Well, a week from today, many mothers will be celebrated. March of Dimes will be doing just that while also drawing attention to a new report out just this past week from the Centers for Disease Control. It shows the number of women in the U.S. dying from pregnancy-related issues remains at a crisis level, especially for women of color. Fox 9's Leah Bino spoke with some families who are working to change the statistics, both for professional and some very personal reasons. With photos of his now 15-year-old twin sons sitting on his desk, Chief Clinical Officer of Medica, Dr. David Webster, is reminded of how very real the health equity gap truly is. I think it was profoundly sad, very scary, but very upsetting. Days after bringing home their sons from the hospital when they were babies, his wife Joanne, who was also a physician herself, nearly died after giving birth. When I got home from the shift, my shift, I saw my wife sitting up, gasping for breath. So, didn't need to take out a stethoscope exam, but I knew this was an emergency. So we quickly went to the hospital and got evaluated. And she was told if she had waited a few more hours, she might not have made it. The March of Dimes points to a new report out from the CDC showing 817 moms died in 2022, reflecting a significant decline in maternal mortality rates compared to 2021, when over 1,200 deaths were reported, similar to 2019 pre-pandemic. However, as the president and CEO of March of Dimes points out, despite an overall decline in the maternal mortality rate, black women continue to experience greater risk of death during pregnancy or within 42 days of pregnancy and have a maternal mortality rate nearly three times higher than white women. I think there's been some improvements. I think that we still have a ways to go. Plus, the latest report card from MOD gives the nation a D-plus grade when looking at the collective factors that contribute to the maternal and infant mortality and morbidity. Minnesota is slightly better than average with a C-plus grade or 9.6 percent preterm birth rate. But again, the numbers are even more alarming if you are black or Hispanic. In fact, the preterm birth rate among babies born to American Indian or Alaska Native mothers is 1.4 times higher than the rate among all other babies. The data still shows the, the disparities, the differences. So we, we should work together to solve that. That's a large part of the reason the Websters and Medica are dedicated to working with March of Dimes and helping improve the health of mothers and thus their babies. Like, my memory is tainted of giving birth to my daughter. Kiera's story recalls being repeatedly pressured to have a C-section when she gave birth. The anesthesiologist, I guess, was just annoyed with me from the start, and he says, well, can you just shut up so I can get this over with? And I just was stuck, like, why would you say that? And even the nurses are like, why would you say that? Like, that's so inappropriate. Later, while watching her daughter grow, she learned black women are almost 26% more likely to have a C-section delivery, despite being low risk. That's why she's now the event coordinator for next Saturday's March for Babies, once again taking place at the Mall of America and aiming to raise awareness and assistance for any family during pregnancy or after. Whether they're in the NICU or they've lost a loved one, um, we just hope to, you know, bring everybody together and make them feel a little bit better. All the while knowing, even if some statistics have improved, there is still a lot to be done to close this health equity gap. My biggest what if is that that I think about often is, what if she experiences something like my situation or worse? You know, um, being that she's a young black girl and you know the, the statistics and the odds are kind of stacked against her. Leah Bino, Fox 9.